All right, so, hey guys, how's it going? Um, Third Twigs here. Um, we're going to be talking about the new artifact sets, mostly, mostly covering Albedo and the Husk set, but I will make a few thoughts on the Clam set um, for the for healers. Um, so so far, these sets are really good. Um, I'll go ahead and pull them up here. The Husk set is going to be is really good for. Uh, it's referred to as the Husk of Opulent Dreams, but it's really good for defense um, scaling characters. So there are a handful of those in the game, mostly um, Geo characters, mostly. Um, a few that stand out is Albedo here, uh, who is one of the most versatile. I say versatile mostly because he works really well as a sub DPS. And Albedo, when he was initially released, there wasn't much out there for him, which is why he kind of fell to the fell to the wayside. Um, there wasn't really artifacts that fit his um, play style. The only thing people could come up with that were um, good for him was. Um, Two-piece uh, Petra, two-piece um, uh, Noblesse Oblige. Reason is, is because, well, two-piece Petra gives, gives the 15% uh, Geo damage bonus, and at least you're buffing his ult with uh, Noblesse Oblige. <laughs> uh, and then everyone did the, the, the typical thing. Uh, for Albedo, that is, which is sands for defense for sands, geo damage on the goblet, and then either crit damage or crit rate for um, um, the the headpiece. Some people went just with defense, just to boost the uh, defense more for the solar isotoma, which is that that is what you want to mostly focus toward on Albedo is his um, defense scaling for his skill. His alt, on the other hand, was scaling off attack. So you had to really just pick and choose. Did you want to build toward defense for the skill or attack toward the alt? Most people chose skill because, well, at least the skills more is up more of the time. The only time you really get to build toward the alt is if you have C2. If you have C2, then your defense scaling is buffing your alt because of the little um, charge that you get with C2 that builds up. And then based on the stacks of the, what's it called? Um, Fatal Reckoning. Based on the stacks of Fatal Reckoning, it would buff your alt based on... 30% of the defense that Albedo has. So that's really when your defense, only on C2 is when your defense actually starts buffing your ult. And that goes into what makes Husk work so well with Albedo is because Husk uh, st uh, gives you stats of curiosity and based on those stacks of curiosity, which stack up to four times, buff defense and buffs geo damage. So you got two things that are buffing, you're getting two separate buffs that buff what Albedo wants defense and geo damage. This, this sword. This sword was pretty much made for Albedo. It, it, uh, it's substat buffs defense and its ability buffs skill damage based on defense. So what I'm trying to get to is that Albedo has gotten one hell of a buff this update. Now, I'll touch on this just for a quick second. Healers 
also got a pretty nutty update but on this update i've only so far been using the clam set the ocean hewitt clam on barbara because that's the only character i really have buff that works with this artifact set there are a couple others that work with this set um more notably kokomi and potentially chi chi i've heard the chi i heard the clam set works pretty well on chi chi and i can kind of imagine it doing some nutty damage i've also seen that the clam set works really well on kokomi which is a plus because kokomi needs a lot to go <laughs> needs a lot of help <laughs> but the clam set with uh barbara is pretty nice um it buffs healing, which is what you want for your healers. And with the four piece, it makes your healers somewhat of a potential sub DPS. Now I say potential. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that you need to be rocking Barbara as your sub DPS. No. What I'm saying is your healer with this set can help dish damage. In fact, it is pretty stupid. <laughs> if you build your healer right, you can get some stupid ass damage. So... These, uh, so, with the Hus set, I have got a pretty good set on my Albedo. And with the Healer set, the Clam set, I've got it built on Barbara. Go for Energy Recharge, that's fine. I'm going to do double Geo Resonance, Zhang Li for Shield, Barbara for Healing, just so I can show up a little bit about Barbara as well. Stabilize. Burst forth. 11,000 on one that hit, 13,000 on that hit, 13,000 again. So, so dumb. All right, let's probably uh, a little bit of a uh, fatal record. 16,000 on the ult. I'm just dropping a lot down there. 40,000, nice. Uh, what happened to my skill? Oh, uh, okay. 13,000 on that. <laughs> Eleven thousand. Shit. Coming to be. Shut the rock down. And he got us all just about it back immediately. Solidify. Feel the ancient power. 19,000. What happened to my skill? Come to be. Take flight. There we are. Moment Come on out. 17,000. 13,000 on the fucking skill. <laughs> 12,000. Man. Oh, Let me just drop a lot of you guys. Just to come in. 15,000. Almost 20,000. 
Twenty-three thousand. Eighteen thousand. Eighteen. Oh, no, I think it was fifteen. Eleven thousand. Now let me give you. Let me show you some stupid ass numbers. The fucking guys that back away. Twenty-eight thousand. That would have been a little bit higher if they didn't jump back when I was doing the. Uh, when I was doing my, uh, all. If you, want, if you want, if you want more reference. Uh, I didn't get the high number that time. 13,000. Insta killed some of them. Like he died instantly. In fact, I think he did. I, uh, he did die instantly. <coughs> now, again, I am not advocating for sub DPS Barbara. What I am saying is that Barbara <laughs> can now be worth a damn if you if you are running the clam set on her. <laughs> she went from being just good at healing. To, with the clam set, not just good at healing, but could potentially do damage on the side. And not bad damage at all. It's fairly good damage. <laughs> this this makes your healer at least able to do something else. And it's some pretty nasty-ass damage. <laughs> so, the clam set is looking like a go-to for any healer that just heals. You don't want to put this on um, characters like Bennett. Because you don't put this on Bennett. Because Bennett doesn't overheal. Part of the, part of the um, benefit of using this on Barbara or Kokomi or Chuchi is that they overheal. Um, Bennett doesn't overheal. He caps himself at 75%. And back to the husk set. It's so far... It's so far looking like it's going to be a great set. Characters like... Um, Albedo. Great. And it's looking like it's going to be a great set for... Um, Arataki Ito, since we know he scales off defense. And it's going to be buffing his defense and his geo damage. And Arataki Ito is a geo character, so no no brainer there. Um, Goro scales off defense. And it's going to be... You kind of think of Goro, where, he, where his ult does the uh, Cataclysm geo damage. So... It's, it's going to be buffing his defense and his geo damage. And um, the new character, I bet the new character down the road, Young Jin, um, where she's geo, hell, this set might work fine on her too. <sighs> Again, that what the worst, I'm speculating on a character we don't know too much about yet, but I'm assuming it might work well for her since she's geo. <clears throat> so. And so, Albedo, he is looking, as you've seen, he's looking amazing with this set. Uh, the Clam set is looking good for characters that focus solely on healing. So, that's my thoughts on the new sets. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys later.